Miss Paige again, and a lot of you had questions about guess and check and how to explain that to your students. So I'm going to show you a guess and check problem um, and how to work it out. All right, here we go. This problem says Sarah and Axel each chose a mystery number. Sarah's number was seven less than Axel's mystery number. Which of the following numbers could be each of the mystery numbers? So in this problem, what we're doing is we have some missing information, and um, like I said, it's a guess and check problem. So we're going to eliminate the answers that we know are incorrect, and then we're going to decide which is our best answer. So the first thing I always tell students to do is circle and underline important information. I say that over and over and over again every year, and I want to make sure that they, they're doing that because that's not only important in math, but Obviously, it's important in reading for the STAR test and for any test, really, is that they're um, really thinking about what they're reading and getting that important information out. So we're going to go through and circle and underline the important information. Sarah and Axel each chose a mystery number. Sarah's number was 7 less than Axel's number. So right here is some important information that they would need to circle. So that's Sarah's number was 7 less than Axel's number. So, we already know that Sarah's number is less than Axel's number. Which of the following numbers could be each of the mystery numbers? So, when we're doing a window pane for this kind of problem, we always want to do our main idea in the top window pane. And our main idea is our question, which of the following numbers could be each of the mystery numbers? So, we're looking for the mystery numbers. So, right here, the student would have to write mystery numbers. And I, I allow them to abbreviate because we don't want them to spend too much time uh, writing things out. So on this one, we know that Sarah's number was 7 less. So we're going to draw two unit bars representing Sarah's number and Axel's mystery number. So Sarah's is going to be like that, and Axel's is going to be like that. Now, we know that Sarah's number is less, so that means that Axel has more. We know that he has 7 more because Sarah has 7 less. So we're going to add onto Axel's bar 7. And this is really just to show the students that who has more and who has less. It's a good visual for them. So I know that Axel has more and Sarah has less. So automatically I'm going to go over here and find the ones where Axel has more and Sarah has less. In this one, Sarah has more. So I know that that's not going to be my answer. And you want to remind your students to mark out those answers that they know are not correct. In this one, Axel has more, so that's a maybe. In this one, Axel has more, so that's also a maybe. And in this one, Sarah has more, so that cannot be the correct answer. So now what we're going to do is look through these answers and see which one shows Axel having seven more, or in this case, Sarah's number being seven less. So what our students would do is come down here and subtract these two. So we would do 51 minus 30. Four. Okay, we would have to borrow. That one turned into an 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. So that's 17. So that cannot be the answer. So we would mark that out. And enc please encourage your student to go ahead and do the math for the other one just in case. Because, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, and sometimes we wouldn't just make sure that the answer that we're choosing is the actual correct answer. So we would do 52. Sorry about that. 52 minus 45. 2 turns into 12. 5 turns into 4. 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 4 is 0. So that would be our correct answer. And that is our guess and check using process of elimination. So over here in our how, we would write process of elimination and subtraction. All right, I hope this helped.